Hi everyone, it's Cobra, and today the review with our Marvel's Captain Marvel. Let's get right to it. So this movie has the most boring, generic, can't remember who she is, so we can set up this shit dragon for two hours. It's two hours of my life. My god, Captain Marvel is an awesome character. But come on, this movie, does it even try? Somehow to make a cool character like her, the weakest movie in the MCU since The Incredible Hulk. I mean... Oh my god, The Incredible Hulk, I didn't think I'd ever compare another Marvel movie to that piece of shit, but here we are. That's another review for another very tragic day. You know your movie's bad when Samuel Jackson can't save it. This time, Marvel failed, big time. And since it's Marvel, I wish I couldn't fault the action scenes, because Marvel, even in The Incredible Hulk, Marvel's action scenes are usually awesome. But, yeah, they're just okay. I mean... It's it's typical action movie. It's not it's nothing special. It's nothing Marvel even really. The, this movie set in the nineties and introduces the Kree. So yes, this movie is important to the MCU. Sadly, that means that you probably have to watch this before you watch Endgame. The Kree and the Scrolls are an intergalactic war, and yet somehow it's bland. I don't know how many more words I can use to describe how just how bloody boring it all is. She gets separated. No surprise. An alien stride on Earth with memory loss. Right. So basically. When writing this movie, the writers picked up Sci-Fi Trope 101, copied it word for word, and they're just like, yeah, this seems like a good movie. I liked how they introduced, well, not introduced, but I like how they had Ronan in this movie. Probably one of the only things about it that I did like. That as well as seeing Carol use her powers, and I don't care what anyone says, Brie Lawson was the right pick for this character. I do actually like her acting, she's decent. I just wish they'd done the character justice. But unfortunately, not in this movie. As a Marvel fan, but honest reviewer, it kills me to say this movie only gets a 2 out of 10. Bad writing, dull characters, predictable action scenes. The reason I am so harsh and honest to this movie is because on this game station, that's what we do. No tiptoeing around the truth with bullshit ifs or buts. They're just straight to the point. And the point is, Marvel can do a 100 times better. But they just don't. So, thank you all for watching. This is of course just my opinion. You're entitled to your own. And I would encourage you to leave your opinion in the comment section if you found this helpful in any way. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video based on my accent or anything like that, because apparently Americans like my accent for some reason, please hit that like button. Subscribe and turn on notifications bells. Also share with your friends, that would be very helpful. Thank you and goodbye.